Okay, let's talk about second home financing. Now, as we kind of start off, there's three classifications we have to put a home into uh, for residential financing. It either needs to be a primary residency, a second home, or a non-owner occupied or an investment property. So let's talk about the second home for a minute. So a second home is just like it sounds. It's I have a primary place where I stay, but I wanna buy a second home somewhere else and I'm gonna spend some portion of my time in that home. Uh, not maybe all my time, and it's probably going to be less than I spend in my primary time, but that's what the technical uh, definition of that second home or maybe even vacation home. Now, there's one stringent parameter to second homes that um, you want to make sure you're paying attention to. It must be a one-unit property. You cannot buy a duplex, a triplex, or a quadruplex as a second home because you want to occupy one as a second home and then use rental income on those other. That would have to be classified as a non-owner occupied if it does not fit, fit the primary residency guidelines. Now again, you must occupy that second home for some portion throughout the year, most likely less than you're gonna spend in your primary residency. And you may write a little small letter to the underwriter as what we call as a letter of explanation, just to document that for the file that you're going to do that. Now what you can do is you can use that second home when you're not there for short-term rentals. If you wanna use an Airbnb or a VRBO or other type of property management service to rent out that second home when you're not there, that is totally acceptable and is within the guidelines and the parameters of what you sign with your agreement uh, with the investor on being able to do that. There's no disqualifications by turning that into a, into a short-term rental when you're not there. Now, we are not able to use any projected rents or even previous uh, income rents off of that to offset that debt. You still have to qualify with all that debt against you when we come down to a loan qualification time frame. Uh, typically, uh, there are reserve requirements that are additional guidelines for a second home. It traditionally starts with about two months, but it could go up to six months, depending on where our provability lies within the system. Uh, and there are location requirements. Uh, if I, I, I live in Phoenix, if I brought, bought a primary home in Phoenix, I may not buy a secondary home in Phoenix because I'm not going to go vacation on the other side of town. It needs to hit some type of distance parameters or location parameters. The guidelines typically say about 50 miles away, but it also has to make sense for the underwriter and the investor to sign off on that. Uh, typically, you may go uh, to a different destination for a second home, but it just needs to make sense. Do you have any questions? Let me know.